<laughs> so I was just like, okay. So how did you do the pork? You gotta grab it. Make sure it's cut up, season up however you want. Um, put it on a pan with a um, little bit of olive oil or cooking oil. Not too much. Put it on high. Then put a cup of water. Put the meat there for like 10, 15 minutes on medium. Let it like evaporate there. So it makes the meat soft in the inside. Take it out. And the same juice. Put more oil. Let it come heat up. Put a little brown sugar in it. Put a little salt. Once it's heat up, throw back the meat in there. Leave it in there for another 15 minutes until it's nice and crisp on the outside. Take it out and let them sit. How do you do the chicken? The chicken, I just put it on uh, with butter. Okay. And butter how about chicken. the shrimp? The shrimp, um, olive oil. You throw a little bit of salt on that. You season it normal. I like doing salt and pepper on my shrimp um, and just butter. If my butter got salt, I don't put any salt on it because it's got to be extra salty. And I like putting like Thai sauce in it to make it reddish, um, a chiote, but we don't, I don't know how to say oh, that. Oh, yeah. It's like a, it's like paprika, think about it. It's like mm -hmm. a red paprika page version mm -hmm. of it. Okay. Pretty much you cook all your meats separately. You never want to mix them because you can poison yourself. So people say, I don't, I don't know uh, but... How did you make the plantains? The plantains is you got to, you cut them whatever size you want. We like them nice and thick. The plantains here in, in the U.S. are not like... Texas and Florida are down in the east. They're fat and they're big. Yeah. So. Just we call them, like, we call them anorexic plantains yeah. over here. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> Hilarious. They're really skinny. Oh, but wow. Compared yeah. to where you get them, like, closer, the closer you are to Puerto Rico, to the east coast, they are beautiful. Yeah. And and you were asking me for some brown plantains, and I almost <laughs> got your red yeah. bananas. Yeah. So we were like, oh, you found some. Wow. <laughs> and then I read the, I was like, oh, it says red bananas. Well, Never mind. you dice them up, you put them on water with salt. Mm -hmm. I don't put them in water or stuff, but I didn't have adobo. You put it in adobo, it's like the seasoning. You just dip them in water. Let them soak for like 10, 15 minutes. So it's like sucks up some of that flavor. Grab a nice pan of olive oil mixed with cooking oil. People say just cooking oil. I just like mix them for whatever it is. It's my style. Once it's heat up, cook up the cook the actual plantain. Then once you see them like nice and golden brown, like you can grab a fork, scrape the top. You're going to get like a nice little scrape. Take them out. Let them sit for 10 minutes, and you grab, like, I don't know, what you grab? The can. A can? Smash them down like a little a bit. Just a can of beans wrapped in aluminum foil. The plantain is thick at that point, and mm -hmm. then you just squish it. Mm -hmm. And, and then nice a little roll. Once it gets that uh, little form, like flat, throw them back in the oil. So these don't have any... No, Anything on them. They're just the plantains. Just the plantains. Wow. I kind of thought that they were yeah. breaded or something. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. So they start off fat and then you squish it flat to make it chip. And just it's let them good. dip for, for a little bit. Take them out. Let them chill. And it's nice. It's like a little chip. Yeah. It's just more meaty in the inside because they're the actual plantain itself. So they're dehydrated in other words. Yeah. And then the sauce. You can just grab um, olive oil and then squeeze out. Or, what is it that you were doing? With the, uh, with the okay. garlic. A whole garlic, you can either dice it or just grab a whole garlic. Make sure it's nice and squishy or whatever. Mix it with the olive oil. Taste it with your finger. If it's salty or flavorous as it is, don't add salt. If there's no flavor, add salt to your liking. Some people like adding lemon to it. I don't. Unless you're, you're ajillo. That's what we call it. And boom, goes on top and you eat it. <laughs> and then the sauce is what? The sauce is my yuketchu. It's just uh, mayonnaise mixed with ketchup. That's so simple. <laughs> That's it. Okay. My uh, sauce. And how is the rice cooked? The rice is just do plain white rice. You can do whatever. We like, I don't know how to use a rice cooker. So we just know the old fashioned way. Water. Um, she does yeah. it her way, which is what? You put I onions put, on it, right? I put onion and salt. Yeah, I don't. Well, it's got yellow to it. The soy sauce. Huh? So the soy sauce. Sesame and soy sauce. When mm -hmm. he starts cooking, when he cooks, the rice is cooked separate, all the meats are separate, and then he puts it all in a big pot. Oh, yeah, it looks more yellow than a regular uh, soy sauce. Egg. Oh, okay, egg, really? Yeah, oh, there's egg in it. But yeah. it's not it's not whipped in, so it's all blended in. Correct. So wow. you know, a lot of people don't like egg in their, in their rice, mm. so I like blending it in the beginning with the oil, so it's really little, and then you throw your meats because you want to cook them extra since they've been sitting outside a little bit. Wow. Throw them back in the oil, nice, nice and crispy. Start throwing rice, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil. Keep throwing more rice, more rice, more rice, and more meat. Mm. And so you got the perfect blend. Thank you. And you can add veggies. I just like meat on everything. Yeah, I don't do you vegetables. Can, you can add some bell peppers. You can add whatever that. you want to it. You can mm. make it however you yeah. want.
My family puts all types of veggies in like two meats. You know, I put like six different meats on it. And one he veggie. makes up the meat version of like how you're like supposed to make like a supreme or a veggie version. Yeah. Like he makes a meat version. No, That's awesome. Vegetables are not. Yeah. <clears throat> It's, it's like a pizza. You order extra meat or you order veggie. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much for dinner. It's amazing. Thank you. Enjoy.